guys, so uh, welcome to the August writing vlog. Today is August 8th and I am just now going to start writing. My goal for the month is to write 10,000 words. I have to work hard, so I am leaving for my two week long road trip starting on Sunday. It's currently Wednesday. So my plan is to write 5k before I leave and then write 5k when I come back. So the goal for today is to write 2.5k. I'm going to hang out with Lorena. We're going to this cute little gelato place to write and I'm super excited. I'm hoping to get a lot of work done, but who knows. So I'm going to start by finishing going through what I wrote during Camp Nano because I never finished doing that. I'm going to bulk it up and then continue writing from there and hopefully get to 2.5 thousand words. I'm gonna bring this camera with me. Um, I probably won't do any talking clips but hope I can get some aesthetically pleasing clips. So let's go. much later. It is now um, past midnight, probably closer to one o'clock at this point, but writing um, with Lorena was not as successful as I um, had hoped for it to be. Um, I only hit like 570 words or something, but roughly like 2,000 words left to go, which just wasn't gonna happen. And most of those words were from going back through the manuscript, not adding, like, like, not continuing the story. So I have made a decision. I am no longer going to try and hit 10,000 words this month. I'm going to take a pause from writing the draft, and I'm going to go back to the drawing board. So my focus for the whole month now is going to be working in this journal and figuring everything out, figuring out the characters, figuring out the story, and just inputting everything into here. So like all the papers that I have in here needs to be put into this notebook. Um, and I need to figure out new information and everything, and I'm really excited for it, but like I hate outlining and I hate planning and I just very but I think this is best for the book and I think I was just trying to rush it too much because I was like, yes, I need 10,000 words this month, 30,000 in September, um, 30,000 in October. But I don't need to rush this book. There's no like strict deadline on it. I'm going to take this month and take the time to really work on everything that I have to do. So I have like three more days before I leave for my vacation um, and tomorrow I have some like things I need to do like around the house and like things to prepare for my vacation and I'm hanging out with a friend after dinner but pretty much the rest of the day is dedicated to reading and writing um which is really exciting and I'm going to be staying up because I'm drinking pop and I'm not tired <laughs> story of my life it's super on brand with these videos hopefully I can get some work done before I leave hopefully I can get some work while I'm on my vacation like any downtime that I have like in the hotel or whatever hopefully I don't really know how this vacation is gonna go so we shall see um, and then hopefully I can do a lot of work the week that I come back although I'm not really anticipating doing a lot because we only have like two weeks I think once I get back before my friends go off to college um, two of my friends go off to college and so I want to try and spend as much time as possible with them before their lives get hectic and crazy with um, school while I'm not in school. So there's that, but I'm hoping. And then in September, if I'm not yet ready to return to the draft, then I won't. I will just continue planning and working it out. But if I feel like I have a relatively good enough grasp to start continuing the book again, then I will. Um, I don't know if my word count is still going to be 30,000, but we'll see. But the lesser word count I have from September through October, the more chance I have of participating in NaNoWriMo, which I really want to participate in because I have not participated in NaNoWriMo for a little while, and I'd really, really like to. Um, it's like my favorite time of the year and sometimes it just doesn't work out with your schedule but I'm hoping that if I can't do the words that I want to do in the next couple of months that I'll be able to participate in NRIMO. So there's just like a lot of things that I have to do before before I return 
to the draft, but I'm hoping that I can work everything out. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect this first draft, obviously, but I would just like to have a better grasp on these characters, particularly the parents, because I, like, know nothing about them. Like, they're basically non-existent, and I'm thinking I want to give my main character a sibling. I don't know if I want to give her a brother or if I want to give her a sister. But I want her to have a sibling that is two years younger, so they're going to be 16. So I'm hoping that this all works out, you know, but it's kind of awkward because I just filmed the writing update and it's scheduled to go up when I am away. And already information has changed. I was talking about the word count goals for this month through October, so oops. So that's already different, but that's fine. You guys get the updated information in this vlog. It's all good. It works out so i'm gonna continue planning or maybe watching some youtube videos or reading i don't really know but yeah so i'm hoping i can get some work done tomorrow i don't know if i'll update you guys tomorrow but we'll see that's that's what's happening with me right now that's what's happening with the book hey guys so it's currently august 12th i'm leaving for my road trip tomorrow but i wanted to do a quick update just to kind of update you on some things that are going on because i I don't think I mentioned it in my last clip. I honestly don't even know what my last clip was, so. Basically, I'm leaving for my road trip tomorrow, like I just mentioned, and I'm bringing my journal and my folder with me. Um, I did some stuff in here last night, not really. I basically just added these tabs along the edge and the character side of the um, journal, because I have it sectioned off into two parts. This is like plot and like anything that isn't characters and this is all of the characters so I kind of just like sectioned it off so I'd kind of know roughly how many pages reach characters so I might end up changing that and giving Lila more pages just because I'm adding more into her page so I'm not just doing her like character profile stuff I'm also adding things in like her blog posts not all of them but i did uh 25 bookish facts about me for lila and so i just decided to add that in there were 25 uh, bookish facts about lila and i just copied them down i paraphrased some of them because they were really long i didn't want to use all of the paper but um i just put in all 25 facts about her facts about her because um i feel like it's important relevant information um, I'm also going to do a page in her section um, all about her social medias, so about her booktube channel, about her blog, um, about her bookstagram, if she's serious about her bookstagram, um, and I'll do the same thing for her two internet friends, um, because social media is really, really important for the three of them. So I also just printed out um, my character inspiration photos for the rest of them so I can kind of work on that possibly when I'm on my vacation. I don't know if I'll actually get around to it but I thought I'd prepare and print them out just in case. Also what I did last night was I went through my phone. I just got a new phone um, and I transferred all my stuff over from my old one and so I have all of my notes on here from my old phone. Um, and I haven't looked through them in a while, so I kind of wanted to like organize it and I wanted to have a collection all for kids in love related notes because whenever I get like a inspiration for like a scene or like I get an idea, I put it down in my phone. Um, so I have some scenes that I've slightly written, okay, I've written some like little segments and I've written ideas and then I found some other things just randomly written in my notes that I just randomly wrote that I was like, this could fit if I were to change. So a lot of them says change to fit context of the story. I'll catch up with you guys when I come back from my vacation, which is crazy. Yeah, that, that's crazy, but I'll see you guys in two weeks. Hey guys, so long time no talk. It's currently August 29th. I just got back from my road trip a couple days ago and I thought that it was prime time to update you guys. This is gonna be a very small vlog because nothing has happened. Um, I brought my writing stuff with me on my road trip, hoping that I would do some work when, um, like in my downtime in the hotels. That didn't end up happening. Um, my parents ended up surprising me with Disneyland and um, the Western World of Harry Potter at Universal um, as part of my grad gift. 
and so I ended up being a lot more tired and a lot more busy than I had anticipated. So just no writing ended up happening. I also just didn't feel motivated or anything um, to do writing, but um, I'm hoping to get back to it once September starts. I decided to just take the rest of August off um, and just get back to work in September. So the plan is to just do as much planning and brainstorming story-wise and also um, character-wise in September. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I have a poster board in my room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start planning scenes out. So I'm going to write out all the scenes that I've already written and put those on there at the beginning and then plan out what I want to happen for the rest of it because I need to know what's coming because I'm really struggling with what to write so I want to figure out what scenes are coming and what's happening in each, in each scene and who should be in each scene. If September is not a long enough period of time for me to get all the things done that I want to get done, um, then I'm going to continue that into October and use October as Preptober, which is what people like to call it, um, to prep for NaNoWriMo. And then I'll finally get back to writing in November and try and write 50,000 words. I'm going to do NaNoWriMo regardless um, of whether or not I actually am writing in October. Um, I'd like to be writing in October, um, probably not every day or all the time, but hopefully a bit. I've done, I've done nothing in writing, um, but I just wanted to like let you guys know that I've done nothing instead of just like being quiet and not like updating this vlog after my trip. But yeah, I don't really plan on doing anything for the rest of August. I just don't really feel like it. Um, I would like to format Rewind into Create Space um, and upload the new cover for Lost Girl because I can't remember if I ever did that um, and just set everything up so that I can print them out next month. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit because I just spent uh, so much money, so much money on my road trip. I'm gonna wait a little bit to buy those. I'm like really in no rush. I mean, I'm in a rush because I'd like to have them, but I'm not in a huge rush, like a huge rush, like I need them right now kind of thing. What I'm most excited for is to finish writing Kids in Love so that I can print out a copy of that because that's something that I actually plan on doing something with. Um, I think when I print out Kids in Love, I want to read it physically all the way through in um, a bound book and annotate it. Like, I want to, um, like, sticky note things and write inside things that I want to change um, and, like, edit it in the book so that I can go into it for the second draft and know what I need to do. Before I start the revision phase, phase so probably while I'm um, waiting for my copy of Kids in Love to come. I'll probably watch a bunch of videos on revision and try and figure out how I want to go about doing it because it's a very daunting thing. Um, but I'm going to talk about that more when it's actually time to revise my book because it's not even written. There's like, what, 15,000 words of it? So I can't even really think about it that much at this part because we are so early on. No, I have 16,334 words. My bad. But yeah, so I just, I don't want to worry about it or think about revisions too much and printing it out because that's um, in the future. I'm hoping for it to be done in December or January as that would be nice. I'm gonna go because I really have nothing else to say. I just wanted to let you guys know that I did nothing on the road to be nice that I would do something. So I'm gonna go. I might see you guys again. I might not. If not, then I'm gonna end this vlog now. So thank you guys for watching. I promise that September through November will be much better vlogs than this one. Um, but it's nice, to have, it's nice to have kind of like a low-key vlog after having such a crazy long vlog in July. So I'm not complaining because this will be easier to edit. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.